because I understood one day you're going to get tired of his life. Every morning when Travis Luke wakes up, he's reminded of the man that he used to be. He was sentenced to 10 years in federal prison for conspiracy to traffic cocaine. Thinking about that incident, I don't go a day without remember that I don't lost my finger. It's impossible. Luke grew up in South Albany. He joined a gang and started selling drugs at 11 years old. This led to an incident where he was shot and lost four of his fingers. I met him where he joined his first gang, Southside Middle School, which is now 4C Academy. For me, this was the time when I made the transition between right or wrong. Luke didn't have a father figure growing up. My mom is my support system when it comes to love. The streets is my father when it comes to getting money. The streets, as Luke calls it, were the obvious choice for him. He says it's also a clear decision for young men in Albany in similar situations. Law enforcement in Albany have said in recent weeks that youth gang participation is increasing. Black people make up 30 to 35 percent of all gang members in the United States, and 90 percent of those are male. Luke says that gangs are part of reality. You're not, you're not stopping the gang. You're not, this is not going to happen. So let's take a different approach. Luke says gangs only get more connected and stronger in prison. So he's going family to family so kids don't resort to gang violence and drug trafficking like he did. He says nothing will change until families learn the power and use of having good credit. It's a lesson he learned every day in his 10 years of rehabilitation in federal prison. They, they are oblivious to anything dealing with credit. Only thing we know is raw Peter to pay Paul. That's the only thing we know. I reached out to Luke in part because it's Black History Month. He says his role model is Malcolm X because of the barriers he broke and his unrelenting efforts to create change. Black history means leaving behind a legacy, and that's what I'm aiming to do now, leave, leave behind a positive legacy so I could be considered as somebody that contributed. I spent a day with Luke as he traveled around helping his long list of people that have reached out to him for help. The problem is that it gets overwhelming for him. I'm driving from one place to one place, like, I have to ignore their messages. Because once I start a dialogue with them, then I'm going to feel responsible. To expand his outreach, he speaks with students at schools in the Doherty Lee County area. He plans to further expand his outreach by involving more of his close friends who have even served federal prison time before. And he also recently wrote a book where he talks about his life experiences. Anthony Bornaro, WALB, your hometown news source.